Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, we're going to talk about garden soil temperatures today and why it matters for germination rates and success. Uh, got some good tips in here, check it out. Okay, so let's look at uh, soil temperatures and this is optimal temp for type. I've pulled out the five things that are commonly grown. Um, and these are the optimal temperatures for germination. So you see the pole bean, uh, that's about 75. Carrots is 70 degrees. These are all Fahrenheit, by the way. Uh, cucumbers run at about 77. Lettuce around 60. And tomatoes at 80 degrees. And you can see in this uh, bar chart, uh, this correlates to the season. You see the carrots and lettuce are cool season and their optimal germination rates are obviously lower. But those are simply optimal rates. Let's take a look at what you can get by with. So here the pole bean, you can germinate it with the soil at as low as 60. Um, carrots as low as 40. Cucumbers, about 65. And you can see the lettuce there is at 40. And tomatoes as low as 60. Now, if you look at that lettuce and carrots, that correlates to when you can start these seeds. Now, we're talking about starting seeds in the ground outside, not in a starter station inside. So the carrots and the lettuce, uh, carrots, at, I'm in zone 7, so carrots you could start in February even. Um, lettuce probably more towards the beginning of March. Uh, pole beans there, you could probably start them early April or so. Um, tomatoes possibly, but you also have to be concerned with frost. Um, early April, April for tomatoes outside is, is risky in our area because it's probably going to freeze again in April. But those are the lowest temps. So what does this mean? Well, right now, our ground temperature is fluctuating a lot between the low 40, uh, even up to the low 50s. So one thing you can do is actually add some plastic to your garden soil, cover it to try to warm that soil up. Of course, you can't control the sun. Um, but on sunny days, you can trap a lot of heat in that soil. Now here, I'm running clear plastic on the ground. And then I'm covering it, sort of making a cold frame, um, trying to trap as much heat in there as possible. Now clear plastic is capable of raising your soil temperature by as much as 14 degrees, which is significant. Um, so for example, if you look at the carrots and lettuce, their low is 40 degrees. So if my soil is in the 40s, I can easily get it up into the 50s with clear plastic. Okay, and so if we go back and look at our optimal temps, carrots like 65, lettuce like 60. So by warming the soil up, I'm increasing the possibility for germination and also how quickly it will germinate. Another thing on plastic, black plastic can increase the temperature of your soil, but up to five degrees. Clear plastic actually has a better greenhouse effect and can heat it up to about three, four inches, as much as 14 degrees. Of course, that will also encourage uh, weed growth, which is why some people use black plastic to kill out the weeds. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Lots of tips on this channel and a pretty cool crew that leaves comments too. Three, two, one. Peace, y'all.